metal, bitch. Metal, bitch. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I know we can find a common ground, a higher place. Read the signs, hear the sound, feel my air to wait. Get high, get down, the fuck out the way. Step ahead and drag it, touch it down, and we not for play. We the people in the house, and we run this shit. Savages and suicide, one on one, we hit hooks from the sky like a two-two bar. Peekaboo is Iron Mike, we stay ready for war. It's a rebel vibration. I'll be punk rock till I die, my nigga. Come on, we the people in the house and we running shit. Come on, we not worried about the cloud. Now we taking back the power from the rich who been robbing the hood and give it back to the poor like we robbing the hood. It's a rebel vibration. You come with the choice. Move to one's own direction. Never will pass on. And pay with the truth. Yo, yo, what's, what's going up, on, y'all? everybody? Yeah, yeah, Welcome to the Ruckus yeah. Podcast Show. I am the DRP. How we doing out there, everybody? Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. yo, yo, introduce I, yourselves. I'm Rick Dog, a.k.a. the uh, Dale Earnhardt of Cut A. Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> I'm King Relic, the relic of the relics. What's going on, yo? Pro Pro here. They live in the building. Yeah, yeah. What up, what up? It's your boy, Jason Logic, Force 5 Records in the building. Oh, what about you guys over here? Just, yeah, yeah, you know, no. Hello. No, you can be a little bit louder now. He will get louder. This is, hey, for sure? everyone that's out there, a check, minute before check, the check, show, check. we did sound check 45 minutes ago. Everyone's like, yeah, it sounds good. We sit down, and everyone's like, mic level's off. Their mics are turned off. They're not listening to shit. Someone turned down the fucking... Uh, wait, wait, who, 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 wait, wait, hold on. Who's, the speaker who's got Who's responsible down. for the... Johnny, no, you sound loud. That. Yeah, I know I sound loud. I'm asking, I'm turn I, that up I, now. I know, I know you're who's good. responsible for that? Yeah, me, because you guys don't I fucking enjoy, listen. I, I listen to everything you said. To you. <laughs> so how are we keep off the show today? Yeah, yeah. anybody. Any, Welcome. To- <laughs> can you hear me or no? Did you guys introduce yourselves over here? Yeah. I'm Danny Diablo. That's Danny, it. thank you. I know I know how to turn mics down. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm glad I returned. And, and deals. I'm glad I returned for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Ruckus Podcast Show. Our special guest tonight is none other than Jared from Head check, PE. Check. He's been doing it for ah, goddamn near 30 years now. Here's the podcast flyer right here. He'll be on in a little bit. He's got another podcast he's doing right now, but he'll be on in a little bit. I just talked to him a little bit ago. We got everything all straightened up, so we'll see him on in a little bit. So before we bring him on, we're going to talk a little uh, Force 5 news and maybe some current topics. Um, yeah. Ooh, I we got, got a lot of people tuning in right now. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check, check, for, check. But, <laughs> you're still checking the mic? I, I can't hear myself. Oh, talk you, like, you talk the way you were just talking. You'll get Hello, louder. check, check, check. Don't worry. Here. Yeah. You, you, yeah, yeah, I can't hear you. Hello. Yeah. Like, is that good? Can yes, that's me? good. Yes, that's You're very good. good. All right. Good, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I got a little story to tell, too. I want to make sure. We started. All right. Well, what's the story? Oh, you want right now? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Put me right on the spot. Oh, wait, well, I hold wanna, on. Oh. <laughs> no, fuck you. Check us out on Mondays on Spotify. Here you go. iHeartRadio. There it is, Rick. And Danny's favorite speaker sounds like tweaker. You hate that? Why? Because it sounds like tweaker. Spanish tweaker. That's why you should love it. Why? Because <laughs> we all love tweakers. <laughs> they always got the best shit to sell. They do. Yeah, that's for cheap. I got this drill. They get the, and I got the baby hummers. formula. <laughs> it's even better when you get your shit back. <laughs> back? What, what? When you get your shit back, what? Jay, chill. Back. <laughs> What's your story? Tell the story. <laughs> I uh, stopped at CBS on the way over here. And the uh, the chick that works there. Why is she a chick? Why can't she be a person? What's She's the pronoun? Female. Yeah. We're giving a description. You don't story. know that. Jesus Christ. What's the yeah. pronoun? Yeah. Anyway. All right. She's an OG. We used to come around the Wicked Wisco shows. You know, yeah. Shout out to Courtney. Whatever. So <laughs> she's checking me out. She's going, um, do you know anybody with a child catching van that's maroon with a Force 5 sticker on the back? A child what? Like child snatching fucking yeah. van? Talk about your van. My van? It didn't. It didn't click right away. I'm like, oh no, we got a fan out there that's driving around snatching kids. 
<laughs> I was like, no, I don't know anybody. And then I was like, oh, shit. That's the DRPs <laughs> kitty catcher. That's the oh, tour van. I know. Did you tell us DRPs? Yeah. <laughs> Four spy, baby. But I was, I, was, just, I was all quiet at first, like, oh. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This is a good mess. <laughs> Making charts and snatching kids. Let me talk to my lawyer first. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, let's talk about something you, I just found out today and not from you. You have a DJ show next week. Are you really mad at me? For well, that? I mean, I didn't know this April was happening. April 13th. Talk yeah. about this show. Yeah, talk about the the show. Walk it's Wisconsin. not a show. It's a, it's a, it's it's a dope flyer. It's a, it's a train wreck. It's What's indie? a train wreck? Yeah, our label. I know. <laughs> our label. Any, a anything the label's a goddamn train wreck. It's a bunch no, listen, of... I'm DJing. Uh, who's, the, who's the guest? Yeah, DJ from last time. Oh, yeah. And Mashwa. Mashwa, yeah. N nicest guy in the world. Yeah. So we're doing it again. Come out. I have some merch. And I'm playing everything. I'm playing The Cure. I'm playing David yeah. Bowie, Billy Joe. Crowbar. Are you playing Duran Duran though? Of course. I love yes. Duran. I always play Duran Duran. Nickelback. But no, I, no, 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 but no, 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 no. Black Anvil, fucking uh, corrosion, corrosion conformity, shit like that. Why well, it's gonna be a Black Anvil? Why can't it be a White Anvil? Yeah, that man. Should be a rap name. White Anvil. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my stripper name. Also, for four nineteen, you have this anvil. show coming up uh, in Brooklyn. Oh, in Brooklyn, anvil. he's not listening. My, my, your 419, <laughs> aka 420 show. Why don't you tell about this? Well, 419 because we start at 9 p.m. Because in the real city, that's how we. That's oh, where we, that's where we go out. In the fun. real city, the real city. Nine o'clock in the uh, bar. Stay open to four. Another shot in Milwaukee. I love it. We did this little beep over here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that skinny guy? Hey, I see you, I, motherfucker. Two, two earthquakes. Just, two earthquakes in Queens. Say. Two earthquakes. Yeah. So all oh, there, two. Well, yeah. it was apt shocking. Yeah, thing. yeah. Okay. So, um, at the wood shop in, in Brooklyn Monarch, me and Paulie the bartender. Shout out to Paulie the bartender. We're at, you know, uh, we're doing a, a show. We have uh, vending tables. It's all edibles and pot, you know, like all weed stuff. So. I yeah. say that. You know I mean? Yeah. So come out there. Uh, we're going to have a good time. I'm DJing. I got Piss Mob, Tony Slippers, uh, Sin Jerry God. X, Sin God. Who else? Nice cannabis collective there. Someone else. Someone else. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I've been... Oh, and, and Black McCloud's going to come. Oh, out. Black McCloud. He's performing. Oh, uh, no. He's coming on stage. So <laughs> shout out to Black Whatever happened to that song that you mean Black McCloud and Jerry X did? I got so coked up. I couldn't do it. Ah, I know that. But you you were Jerry X and, and killed it. Yeah. Slippers, yeah. Right? Uh, you and Jerry X. No, me and Jerry X. Yeah. Yeah. He's sending me the thing to do my verse. And he's going to put uh, out the right. next single. All right. That's so dope. see how that is? Yeah, I see that. See how, see how life is like. Like you met me. You got songs with Black McCloud. Who else? A lot of guys. A, a lot, yeah. Brick Dog. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. yeah that's what I'm doing. Also, I want to show this. Uh, your that? new uh, Ezek flyer is up for pre-order right now. Flyer? Check shirt. Check this out. Yeah, the, oh, oh, this is the flyer. The shirt. You can get it's a it, flyer for your body. You can get it in blue, oh, shit. blue, blue or black. That's gonna sell really well in, in Europe. So all you Europeans, yo, get it right now. Please pre-order. Yeah, pre-order right now. Hold on, I, I gotta find the banner for that one. If you're in Slovakia, right here. Danny Diablo merch, right, right underneath there. Danny Diablo merch. Check that shit out. Um. You know, we always like to talk, do current topics. Like I said, Jared's going to be here in a, probably about 15, 20 minutes. So let's let's do the current topic thing real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Prolific, I gave you a shout out. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about tonight with this. And you gave me this idea. Check this out, this 45-second clip. We're going to come back and talk about it. Legendary rock band Kiss has sold their catalog, brand name and likeliness to Pop House Entertainment Group. This deal is worth about $300 million. Yeah, the two entities have teamed up before creating digital Kiss avatars last year. It's unknown exactly how that technology will be used, but Pop House expects Kiss live on, uh, a in a biopic, uh, a documentary and a new KISS experience in the future. KISS played their last concert, at least in physical form, at Madison Square Garden back in December. So check this out. So KISS is the first of their kind to basically... They what, are you, what are you talking about? Jews? <laughs> what are you talking about? Seriously, wait. What? what? Yes, right they're away. They're the first Jews. They're the first Jews. First Jews who put down business. They're like the... G. Simmons is not playing games. No, no. He's... 300 he's... Million. Shout... Shout to shout to Chief Simmons. He's a, making he's, my people he's, fucking proud. He literally sold he, everything. The he's name, a smart, no, he's a smart he's businessman. Smartest business people in the here's, business here's the, in the thing. World. He just sold the rights to the name, the rights to their catlog, yeah. and their images for perpetuity forever. So the someone's, someone's going to own wait, 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 wait. that perpetuity. perpetuity. 
That means forever. That means, well, I, yeah. I did the same thing with Prolific. I got thirty dollars in a six pack. <laughs> oh, you overpaid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He got you. you so fucker, say that now, and you quit. You just wait. You just wait. <laughs> so that their avatars, right? So basically, when they're dead in a hundred years, Kiss is still going to be out there doing something Correct. for some Swedish company. Yeah, right. They'll yeah. still be doing commercials. You think be still yes. be on TV? You AI, is, AI. You think yeah, Gene, AI? You think Gene Simmons dying or something? He's going to be dead at some point. Stop. Oh, I know, but... Yeah, Shannon Tweed. He's, he's just trying wondering. to get that cake. Sh- 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 uh, was it Shannon Tweed? Shannon Tweed. Yeah, the it. queen of the of the softcore porn. No, she was I grew up to the 80s Shannon Tweed. Actually, Rick, that's not a bad point to make you think maybe something's happening that they're just like, fuck it, like, but here's, get all that money. Yeah, old, you guys, guys you yeah, guys, know, listen. In 100 years, that's fine that someone wants to hear Kiss, but... Are they going to make new music through AI? Because right. that'd be bullshit if that's no, what it, it is. It's it's true. True. No. They're just trying to cake up and make no, sure the kids are right. No, yeah. It's no different than the Beatles. The Beatles songs are still fucking on commercials. The, the, the movies. No, they're kiss, gonna... kiss is way better. Than yeah, but, uh, but Michael Jackson bought that shit. I'm sorry I bought your stuff, Paul. Yeah, Michael Jackson <laughs> I'm just saying that. they could do whatever they want with Kiss's name now. They can trash it if they want. They could do whatever they want. They could do whatever they want. Why would you want to do that with what you've Again, done. that's True. what that's what I'm trash saying. Trash an investment, though. The Gene Simmons. Can, can, can I tell you something about Gene Simmons? Yeah. He wasn't, they, weren't, they didn't get uh, inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for a long time. True with that, too. You know yeah. why? Why? Because they suck. No, that <laughs> suck. I guess he did someone bad in business. He's fucking like, he, he, like, like, he, he it's such a power, power, uh, uh, powerhouse in that, 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 that realm. Yeah. So he, he made someone, he pissed someone off. So he doesn't give a fuck. They're, yeah. they're definitely not going to trash the name. You don't you know, trash. You, know, you don't trash an investment. I don't know. No, they're they're, 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 they're going to make money off it for a long time. Take for three hundred million dollars, they would just trash it. There's no fucking way. No, no they're, 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 they're going to make a ton of money off it for years. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 They'll, 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 make, they'll make a shit ton of money off. It. Great investment. Kiss on ice. Kiss on ice. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, they're making a drug deal. Look at no one. They don't realize that they're talking. Yeah. Look at these two. They don't know. <laughs> Jump them out. You want to see me out bad? <laughs> Drug deals happening in the back. <clears throat> yo, yo Oz, what, what were you saying now? You yeah. said fuck kiss? How, can, no, how dare you say that? Oh, I know. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. No, Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, I loved them. He said, oh. who is this? Get the motherfucking money. Get the money, cash out. I, the money. I guess. I, money. I seen Kiss and Def Leppard. It was fucking ill. It's, it's, better, it's better for them to do it now and split it up between the kids' families. I agree then let that, that shit go to the court. Gene Simmons has all that money. I, I agree with that. No, he had to split that up. Here's the thing, though. Ace, How much do you think Ace Freely's getting on that deal? Sure Peter Chris? Nothing. They, they, nothing. He's Not a guy. Zero dollars. Nah, he's, he's getting I want, I can't Yo, the wait beam to is see. real. The beam is real between Ace. So they, they were getting, I can't wait to see on blabbermouth.net tomorrow. Ace Freely's like, wait a minute, what? They were saying yeah. they sold 100 million. They were saying, and yeah, so 300 shout out to getting out of it, too. Unless Ace I, signed away his like he, he, likelihood, he did, or, uh, he did, he did. I'm sure he did for a case of beer <laughs> right. to, to fund that first Freely's comment record. Ace Freely's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, though, I'm like, fuck it, yeah. I mean, for that, yeah, for fuck that, Rick Pfeiffer, for that fuck you, cocaine money, James, for that amount of money, it's like, okay, yeah, 300 million guys, yeah, that's all. It doesn't seem like a lot these days. It, it, I mean, kiss, I know it's a lot. Kiss, that, how much do they make on their tours? That's what I'm saying. Like, they have to make fifty or hundred million on their tours. Yo, they, like Basil's got that in his couch cushion, right? Well, now. I mean, uh, right. well, I mean, with inflation, that's like that's like a hundred thousand dollars. Exactly. It's fucking well, thirty. How much more, how much it's, more it's touring are they gonna much. do? How much more music would they fucking do? Probably exactly. not doing just, shit. That's why they're just like fuck it. They probably right. got to cover their losses from the fucking. Yeah, yeah, so they're done. They probably got to cover so their losses from out. the fucking yeah, restaurant they have at Pottle. Yeah. Well, while we're still hey, waiting for... Uh, is Ozzy going to do the same shit? <clears throat> no, Sharon's going to do that. Yeah. Ozzy yeah. Gonna do shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ozzy doesn't, doesn't even know what's going Ozzy. on. Every night she has that pillow over his head like, uh, do I do it? Yeah, I, you know, I don't have a picture for this, but I do want to give a shout out to They Live. Last week, they hit number 42 yeah, yeah. on the Apple iTunes charts. Shout yeah. out to They Live. Why don't you guys talk about this real quick? The new EP, Obey. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that went out and got that. And uh, right, that's still enough. Next that. topic. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> no, for real. I, pre- I appreciate the support. There's a lot of people that came through on that. So, yeah, for so just, shout for, out to all of y'all. For, for just us three coming out of Milwaukee under Force 5 Records and hitting IQ charts like that. Hold on. Good. You're from Oxford. Hey, so that even makes that's a better oh, statement. Shit. If, you're, if you're being realistic, I'm from a little town of 300 fucking people. Where's Oxford? Now my name's on some that's on iTunes charts. So, like, <laughs> yeah. Relic, Jason Logic, Donnie. 
You're welcome, Rick, everyone fellas. that's been a part of this. Like it's Dan, even too going on the road with us, DJing for our group. Like being able to hit hip hop charts gets heavy hitters like that is fucking it's amazing. So thank you everybody that got one. That EP all killer no filler. All huh? killer no filler. Also, no filler. this just dropped today. Check it out. Ray De La Vega song "Trap and Ruckus" featuring myself Damn. and Lazy Bone of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Go to the Force Five Records YouTube page. Go check it out. The new uh, animated video, or go to Spotify or dope, wherever. Just uh, go awesome. check that shit out, please. Not, I, I would gonna, appreciate that. You're not gonna show the meme I made. Which meme? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not showing that. <laughs> no, I'm not showing hey, that. What was it? Also, what do do now? we just got these in, and we're shipping these this week. The, the new Four Five, yeah. five Records uh, right T-shirts. Here. Check it out. Yep, right in the. Oh, I can't show that. Four, right in the back right there. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Force Frizzle. Go to Force Five Records dot com. Check fun, that out. Force Order that right here at the bottom of the screen. Um. Oh, you know what? I do. I did collect. Rick likes to fucking put a lot of memes, so I I, I collected some. First, let me let me throw this one. <laughs> I didn't do that one. That? Oh, yeah, you didn't do I that was one. Tagged in that it's one. your little uh, juggler sherubs. But great. look, why are you trying to diss me in this one? Yeah. <laughs> look at that fucking shirt. You dissed yourself. You Yo, played, that's you that's, played yourself. That's all Miami right I there, baby. Like that that's shirt. all Miami. <laughs> I'm ready for the beach. He's very and then great for that Cuban. What's this one right here? Did you? It says, "Did you know you're the only one I've been with?" Oh, speaking of ten. Oh, there's a ten right there. Woo! Yeah, jump them one? out. Why do you make fun of Patrick Swayze? That upsets me. I'm not making fun of him. That's hilarious. I'm Swayze crazy, bro. All right. <laughs> I'm saying we need ghosts too. And then I, this is my favorite though. <laughs> T yeah, Diddy. That one's good. Man. I Diddy the fool. <laughs> I Diddy the fool. Rick, <laughs> you, right, you thought listen, you thought you woke up today with oh, bad day, man. Poor Diddy. Uh, like, He's riding his poor bike Diddy. around. Imagine all the poor people that Diddy diddled. Yeah. <laughs> yo, you hey, they got paid, signed, all right? You know, you're going to need more than that to catch the he said, Yo, he signed the contract. He's, he's going to hell Here's a that picture guy. from the Looney Show last yeah. week. I don't have one of all you guys. That's the only one I found on there. Yeah, there's uh, Rick in uh, Pro Pro with uh, Looney's. How, how was that show, you guys? It was good. I, get, I gave Yuck good. Mouth a no. bag of weed. No. Yeah. He was like, allegedly, oh, allegedly. thank you. No, I gave it. I gave him weed. <laughs> whoop, whoop. It was a good turnout. For sure. Yeah, really? I had marijuana in my pocket that I gave to him. That's what you do. Marijuanas. Yo, Jay, why don't you come back real quick? I'm going to talk to you about uh, what's going on next week. Right. Come, come in the back. Actually, no. First, come I, want you, I, want you, I want you to go to uh, the, the drum booth room. Oh, man. Oh, we got we got to get to the drum booth room. The drum cam. Get to the beat off booth. Wait, wait. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the drum, drum, cam. Drum, drum, cam. Cam. drum, cam, drum, cam, drum, cam, drum, cam, drum, cam. Yes, tank, yes. drum, give, tank. Give us, give us a blast beat. <laughs> or, or whatever you want. Yeah. Let's open up this pit. <laughs> That's all right. Get one more, one more, one more. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Before we bring him up, I'm going to play uh, a video real quick while we're still waiting for uh, Jared to come in. This is uh, They Live. They just dropped a new single called Hollow. It's a dope-ass track. We'll be right back after this, the Ruckus Podcast Show. Don't you go Thank anywhere. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be right back in two minutes. After Lord help me, can't save me. Let 
me reminisce, I'ma handle this I'ma keep it real as I'm rolling up my cannabis Take it to the dome, mix it up like a lyricist Spit it back out on the mic till I get it right I take flight, I like my journey's gonna end tonight And it just might, it just might No fear, no fright Yo, it's just music that saved my life Word. I've been staring out the window I've been going where the wind blows These paths that we follow Deep in feeling dead and hollow I'm still waiting for the drama Trying to navigate the drama Can't get by though I wanna Left me feeling dead and hollow City yeah, another show In the fast lane, always on the go I ain't got enough time to try to take it slow One day it's gonna end and no one really knows Who, what, why, when, where, and how This, then, these, those, then, there, and now It's a pill that's always hard to swallow That's why I feel dead and hollow Every day is a brand new song a life lesson, a bright message To all the people who feel left out Second guessing, you love, you're worth it You're important, you're kind, you're special And you're perfect, just, just the way you is Cheer up, young buck Yo, and handle your biz Handle your biz, handle your biz I've been staring out the window I've been going where the wind blows These paths that we follow Yo, yo, oh, we yes, got Jared yo. coming in in a Cut couple minutes. I see him in the background right now. Real quick, I want to talk to Jay, my drummer from Swap Murders. What up, what up? How you doing, brother? Pretty good. How you guys doing? I'm, I'm good, man. I'm All good. Right. Uh, let's talk about first next week right here, right? Why don't you talk yep, about this? Yep, that's uh, next week, Saturday at uh, Time Out in Cudahy. Got three. There's actually three bands on there. That's not an updated flyer. We got drawn the lifeguard is out. Yeah, we, so, we gotta get the update, updated yeah. one. But that's where's that at? Here. At timeout. Timeout in Cudahy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, how much? How much is it to get in there? Five bucks. Five bucks. If you're in Cudahy, come out and check it out. Doors at seven. Music at eight. Doors at yeah. Perfect. Only uh, three bands. You get to go home early. <laughs> also, I'll stay and drink. Let's talk about this. That that it's a CD release party for this right here. Kind of, yeah. We're just doing a soft one like that, so we ain't like advertising for it. But yeah, CD is out right here. Here, hold yeah. on. I'm gonna put it right here. Got the actual. Oh. Got copies in our hands now. So right here. Show it. Camera. Show it right there. Copies in our hands. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. The Swap Murders full length, right? Yeah. Ten songs. Ten songs. Yep. Um, Literally in his hand. Yeah. Literally. It could be in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Ten bucks. <laughs> So come out with us. We'll, we'll talk about it a little more as soon as let's get Jerry stay, stay with us. Yep. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that at the end. But right now, bring it to the stage. I know you guys have been tuning in to check this out right here. Our boy Jared from Head PE. Give it Sub noise in the house. I, I can't wait to talk to him. Here he is right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's surfing. Oh, he's surfing. Oh, he's surfing in the background. Watch out, there's like someone behind you. It's getting getting barrel. Barrel. I was just doing my stream. So is this too distracting? This no, no, it's great. I love it. This oh, is the no. best. This is the best background we've ever had for one of the podcast shows. This is fucking great. You should, you should right on, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me on, fellas. Looks like a party going on there, man. Oh, yeah. It's it's, it's always a party on Friday nights here with the podcast show. Fuck yeah, dude. How, how you doing, brother? Right it's, it's, it's good to have you in. I, I've been wanting to have you as a guest for a long time, and I'm, I'm really stoked to have you on. Dude, thanks for having me, man. I'm I'm uh, humbled to be invited. Yeah, and uh, I'm doing good. Finally leaving on tour. You know, um, you guys know how it is. It's like feast or famine where I'm at. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, what the <laughs> ever since fucking COVID, it's just like trying to climb out of this hole. But yeah. Uh, you know, we all have our cross to bear, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you've been you've been doing it. You you guys are road dogs like a motherfucker. Like I know Seven Dust is always out there on the road, but like you guys probably are out there just as much as them. You know what I mean? Like you're always always out on the road. Yeah, but it's not out of some like philanthropic like higher cause. It's just trying to make ends meet. You know, <laughs> like, it's like at least seven know. dust. I'm sure they're making a, a nice stack when they when they go out. Head PE. Yeah. We really, you know, we're playing at Jerry's Pizza and hey, <laughs> like, Jerry's is Bowling Alley. Everyone, everyone loves pizza. Yeah. yeah, as long as and, that promoter and, has the bag. And everyone loves yeah, that yeah, pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I want to I want to show some of the uh, tours. So the, the non point tour. When does this one start? This is is this the one that's coming up or no? The million watts. Yes, this is the one that's coming up. Yeah, the first yeah. show is on the 11, which is Thursday, and um, so you that's know, man, uh, that's a great. I'm lineup. so stoked because between the last tour and now, my touring rig died and yeah, uh, I had to get a new one and just hustle, 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 and now everything's lining up. I got yeah. people flying in on Sunday and we're getting ready to go out. That's awesome. Do you guys so do you guys rehearse like a day before and that's it? And then you guys just all go out together, or how do you guys how do you guys do it as a band? Okay, what well, here's you, what's gonna happen. On <laughs> Sunday, I'll have my merch guy slash tour manager come right. I live in Eagle, Idaho, right? Okay. So he'll come in, we'll organize all the merch and this and that. The rest of the team, like uh the whole band and the other techs come in on Monday. Then yeah. um, they're going to go through their shit from the old rig and put grab what they need, put on the new rig. Yeah. And then by Tuesday night, we just head to South, uh, North Dakota or something. No rehearsals whatsoever? Ah. Professionals. No. <laughs> that's, oh, awesome. that's rock stars no, fuck. That's, that's rock stars <laughs> fuck. That's how, Danny, that's how Danny is too. But I'm like, no, I want to rehearse. And Danny's like, fuck rehearsing. My whole life's rehearsing. Yeah, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I miss touring with Danny, though, man. I <laughs> do you know him, too, really? Danny Diablo, I have dude. to deal with him every day. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, yeah, he, he, he tours professionally. Yeah, Jared, he's gone, he's gone. always been on point. On point. Jared, I'm not... I, I, no lie, like you're one of my favorite front men of the last probably 25 <laughs> or 30 years. I'm not just saying that because you're on the show. Like I've been a fan of you for, since wow. forever. So it's it's. I'm it's humble, dope. dude. You know, I've been doing it a long time. If I didn't learn a little something from everybody I've toured with, then that yeah. means I'm really hard headed. You know, so. <laughs> I'm just- <laughs> I, I want to say the best of this too. You guys are playing the Louder Than Life Festival. Uh, I, I can't see which day it is. Who, who are you guys playing with? Is it Slayer that day or no? Uh, or is it Corn? Oh, I can't remember. I can't keep this shit straight, dude. Yeah, that's um, that's a that's a sick ass that? festival. Where is, that? Where is this? You know what's a trip about that, right? And y'all, this is a trip, right? Because my old agent and I love him, but you know, for years we he couldn't get us any festivals or any support slots. It's just us headlining at Jerry's pizza and whatever all of a sudden then I switch agents and get a manager now I'm playing at louder than life and yeah, fucking no going I mean, at this other yeah. festival you know supporting non I don't know dude it's just it's yeah, but you I'm, need I'm that. You need that. someone just said in the comments you're a legend ja and I agree with uh, you, man <laughs> oh, oh yeah that's my guy though that doesn't count <laughs> well I'm still, I'm still to say it too. you should have played that off I I do I, I do want to talk too about you, you you hit number one on the iTunes charts. I, I was following this along on Instagram. Shout out to the new album yeah, right yeah. here. For people in the audience, check this out. Detox yeah. hit number Fucking one on awesome. Apple iTunes. You were um, prepared, yeah. It's, for it's, that. yeah, wow, yeah. Who's, running, who's running that? Are you running that yourself? I'm, I'm running that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed because you know I do my own stream and I, I try know, to I watch do- I'm like, I know. Ah, I watch you do it. Well, I'm, not, I'm not doing anything over here. Oh, he Rick's, Rick Dog's running the comments. I gotta give him a shout out for yeah. running the comments. But right yeah. on, right on. Talk, talk about detox. I know this is with your guitar player from. Where's he from? Uh, Sweden or he's my guitar player's name is Remy that I write with. Yeah, the uh, right yeah. And he lives in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Uh, you cool. know, he's a Dutch kid. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because of technology, I've been writing with him for since COVID. Yeah, you yeah. know, because I was between guitar players, and then this kid reaches out to me and just starts playing me some music that sounds just like Head PE. Come to find out, he grew up loving Head PE, and then yeah. learned the style, you know. And so, uh, you know, because Head PE has its own style of playing yes. guitar, right? That was developed by the original guitar players, right? Yeah, that style, right? Right, exactly. Um, yeah. So uh, I've been writing with this kid for a while now. We finally hit our stride on this detox, you know, because mm-hmm. this probably represents the, you know, our over writing over thirty songs together. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I I, I do like. That you're embracing back to the new metal and stuff like that too, like new metals. Oh yeah, <laughs> me, and da- da- me and Danny, Danny talk shit lo- all the time about each other with oh new metal. God, so. This guy loves new metal. I love new metal. I can't help it. It's it's, it's buried Dude, deep in the bones. I, <laughs> right, and if you were there in the nineties, yeah. right, you could just kind of see it coming. Uh, yeah. You know, because of just like faith, no more, and freaking. Yep. 
um, rage against the machine and shit was moving in a certain direction, you know, where Dude, Yeltsin, hardcore Yeltsin, and Yeltsin, rap was just yeah. combining. It's, 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 they all, they're all in the lab, like uh, head PE interlaps with a whole bunch of different kind of music. Yeah, yeah. Like, like when, when growing up, when I grew up, you know, the bad brains and twenty four seven spies. Twenty four seven spies. That's yeah. That's like, a oh, like, dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, <it's> like, <laughs> you're from LA, right? So you're in that lane. So yeah. when I first heard you guys, I was like, oh shit! But it's it, but it was produced better. Yeah. 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 Like, 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 you had that major no, label it, cash, right? It, it doesn't come out. You know how people mix, how people mix rap and uh, and rock. It's a lot of shit sounds corny. You know what I mean like it, it right. doesn't sound clever. The DRP. Like, like, oh, <laughs> fuck with oh. <laughs> Jared, That's our you, you it, it sounds it sounds like, like from like, like it's natural. It's natural. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Let so me tell you like, something though, like, Danny. Like, before you know it took a long time for me to de develop into that because i'm yeah. going to tell you there was a band uh the band that i had right before head pe which was called like live urban sex drive was like mm -hmm. i had an ar guy come down an a r guy come down and he was like your heavy stuff's not heavy and your rap stuff isn't really rap <laughs> you know he was right you know so yeah. like ever since that I was like, man, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna be heavy, if you're gonna do rap shit, yeah. you gotta make sure it's fucking right. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't it, be it, corny, it, like Danny's saying. Yeah, you know? yeah. It, 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 sometimes I and you're, you're you're a real person. You 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 stay in your lane. You mean that like you you are what you are. It's like like how when Jet listen when Jazz hang out and I'm hang out when we're, we're the same backstage. We are what we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we were looking. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, it's hard to hide, that, right? <laughs> yeah. I hide around. my wallet too when Danny's around. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's natural and it's progressive, and it's just a, 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 a feeling that when you watch him perform, he, the, it's all eyes on Jared. It's like he's he's a he's a great frontman. Yeah, he's a great frontman. It's very genuine. Yeah, it's very yeah. genuine. You, you well, keep it you guys, and it does come from the heart. But at the same time, it's not like I'm a rapper and I'm and I or oh, wait, let me rephrase that. You know, the modern day hip hop, which is based on a lot of like you know kids from the hood who are rapping about their very exciting and scary, dangerous life, right? So mm -hmm. like that was the thing about new metal is finding a way to kind of capture people's attention but you couldn't rap about shit you never really did like gangster shit so for me it was like you know talking about suburban shit or whatever and then you know writing songs that have nothing to do with me just as a writer where a lot of yeah. time hip-hop guys are expected to write always true shit about their yeah. life that's always authentic that you can check the facts on that it checks out i'm not that you know i'm a rock guy who loves rap and hip-hop so i'm i'll i may write a song that has nothing to do with me you know and yeah. it's, it's still being authentic because i'm just being an artist just you know look you know i may write a song about you know, kidnapping uh, uh, my wife and hiding her under my bed, but that doesn't mean all <laughs> it's storytelling. It's yeah, art. yeah, it's storytelling. That's art. You, yeah. you want my answers? Right, Come right. take my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I, always, I, I always tell it when the cops say something, it's all it's all fake. It's yeah. 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 This is a facade. <laughs> we have you on right. camera doing it though, Jerry. We yeah. just uh, show, at the not me. It wasn't me. We showed this video. Uh, Chapter Six Rebellion, the video for this, like the yeah. Uh, can you can you talk a little bit about this, like what how how this came to be, or what was the okay, inspiration right? for this? Yeah, so my dude Kevin Zinger, who's like the boss over at Sub Noise, yeah. Yeah. shout out to Kevin. Yeah, that's my dude, and he like wrote the story, and he proposed. He was like, I wrote this story, and I'd like to do um a, like a companion uh video to every song on Detox, right? That's so yeah, yeah. we've done uh, uh th this is our chapter six and then we've got four more chapters to cover the in entire story which is a great story about um you know the, the government uh you know um 
gets all the way behind Herb. And of course, they have have these ulterior motives. All of a sudden, Herb's legal everywhere, but now they're putting shit in the Herb and they call it Super Grow and it's turning the stoners into zombies. <laughs> but now the Freedom Fighters, you know, who I'm one of them, they put me as one of the characters, has an antidote for the Super Grow and now we have to get it into the water system. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing. But I was just so stoked that they would do a different animated thing. And it's not AI either, which I'm into AI, but it's just like real graffiti artists and, and fellas putting it together. So I'm just pure creativity. There. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, keep also, yeah, right I, keep zombie I keep staring at the uh, the video behind you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro, I'm sorry. I can put a green screen up. Oh, no, I love it. It's I fucking great. It. It's kind of great. relaxing, right? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Every now and then, though, it throws me off. I'm like, I, I what don't know is what, happening what, back what, what did you just say? Can you, can you say that again? <laughs> We're just hoping that it's you just surfing it up. <laughs> Look at that dude in the background. <laughs> dude, it is distracting, this guy right here. <laughs> uh, Jared, I oh, also want to ask about this. Uh, you put this on your Instagram a couple, it was probably like a month ago. It says, you never know how the music you create is going to touch someone. And today I was reminded of that when a reporter from Fox News told me he loved Happy E and that Ray's Hell was his anthem. Now, I know some, something happened with your tour manager, right? And then you guys went on Fox News, which is, I felt yeah, like yeah, it was here, I'll put it up. Check this What's out. Uh, what happened? There he is. This is my guy right here, my tour manager. You know, what we do is we park at a lot of Walmarts and Planet Fitnesses while we're on tour, right? Yeah, well, on a day right. off, we're at the Walmart parking lot. And then my I'm in the I'm passed out in my bedroom, but my yeah. tour manager sees some like guys, some suspicious looking characters outside of Walmart, right? And then like next thing he knows, there's a guy running out, security <laughs> chasing him, and he's just standing out there. And my by the way, like my guy here, Josh Edwards, my uh, merch and tour manager is like a yeah. fucking a vet, you know, served in Afghanistan, right? Afghanistan, served in Africa, yeah. Yeah. you know, served all over the world for eight years. You know what I'm saying? So he's uh, he's a real fucking dude. Right. So yeah. he says or he says the dude swung on him and he took the dude down. <laughs> Look at him. And the dude, my dude, the guy and waited till the cops got there. But anyway, yeah. it went a little bit viral. And next thing you know, Fox News was interviewing Josh and myself. Right. Oh, shit. But yeah, man, Josh is something else. And uh, we became good friends and he he's uh, going on tour with us as well. He'll he's the first guy to get here so we can go through everything. But, yeah, yeah. you know, Fox News guy, it's like that Instagram post sounds a little funny to me because it's like, oh, you never know when someone from Fox News will like head P.E. It's like, come on, dude. <laughs> There's like never, people on that. People who are conservative and liberal who will rock with any kind of music, right? Yeah, yeah. Plus, that's just a normal day at Walmart. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, why did that go viral? That's just Walmart. <laughs> right. What's the big deal? <laughs> yeah. no, that's like, that's like a scar that seems tour. like a, a mellow scar day. Tour. Yeah, yeah. Cops weren't even going to show up. They're like, yeah, man. you got to take care of them. You got this. <laughs> I, I also want to show this, uh, Jared. When's this tour coming up? Soil? You guys are going overseas with Soil? Yeah, dude. And you know what? Like, they added more dates, so it's There's not just UK. But yeah. I guess they haven't really announced them yet, so I don't want to get in trouble for that. But yeah, you can yeah. see, like, this is just UK, but they've yeah. added, like, you know, other European countries. Uh, so it's the tour is actually more like is, uh, is, four weeks. Other pizza than shops? Is that yeah, that's is? not Jerry's Pizza there. <laughs> Huh? No, <laughs> that's <laughs> not good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely good for you. That's fucking you know, amazing. You know, Jared, uh, Jared, I talked to Danny about this all the time because I've never been able to go overseas yet. I, I was, I had three chances to, and it kept falling apart. And I'm like, Danny, we got to go overseas. So tell me what it's like being overseas because I'm fiending to do it. Like I've never done it yet. What? How do you, do you enjoy it? Oh, <laughs> it's fucking great, dude. Right? Yeah, but yeah. you know. That there's two sides of it. And actually it's it's tough as hell because you know, um, you gotta buy plane tickets and then like I own my touring rig, right? So that yeah. means I'm, I'm paying a more like you guys know, like renting a touring rig these days is just re ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's just if I had to rent a rig, I I, I would just have to shut down my business because I wouldn't yeah. make enough. 
for my family. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. you go to Europe and you have to rent a fucking rig. Well, this tour yeah. is great though, right? Because I get to like buy four bunks on the soil bus. But anyway, oh. okay. So what I, my point is, there's the business side, and then there's the other side of playing in different countries. Yeah, that which, side is great. Are you playing right? festivals? I don't know if we're playing festivals. I haven't gone through the itinerary yet. But I'll tell you what, playing with soil is just as good as playing festivals because they're quite, they're huge over there, you know. So we're not playing Jerry's Pizza over there. We're playing some nice halls, you know. <laughs> uh, so that'll be freaking great. You know, yeah. this is what's great about my new management and the new record label, which is an old record label, is that we're getting all these great support slots. Because oh, yeah. the last time I went to Europe, the first time after COVID sucked, we did a headline tour. I got to tell you, in the past, it's always been very lucrative for me to go to Europe because I could yeah. go to Russia and Ukraine and they, they pay very well. But now because there's a war going on, can't go to either of those countries. Fucking anyway. war ruins everything for musicians. I, dude, I, I sound petty. I know. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm no, no, no. I, 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 no, I'm joking. I'm, joking. I'm joking. I'm trying to get paid, and you got this bullshit going on. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying war oh. fucking sucks. War is it? I hate it. Why can't we just fucking well, you make music and and you're, you're Serbian and drink? War, you're, you come from a war torn country. Serbia, Serbia, <laughs> Serbia. Tell me more, John Lennon. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but yeah, listen. Europe, Europe is the best. The best. Fans, they, dude, they, you they, have to do it. Like, wait, we'll play wait, in places wait. like Budapest or or whatever, and it's just fucking. Good. They're just going off, and they're they love they love the music and the great right. food. Every year, story I, that Danny told me. I know Danny bonkers. tells me about stories overseas like, and just, makes me mad. I, 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 I got three passports that that, that fulfilled from all over the world. I thought you had three different ones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> aliases, <laughs> aliases. <laughs> Danny's not even allowed in USA. What are you Danny, doing? Danny. <laughs> You get into Canada, Danny. You know, we hear some crazy shit. All right, so the last time I went to Canada, they had me at the border. They they shackled me. What? <laughs> listen, listen. What? <laughs> Sounds right. Yeah, listen, me, Puerto yeah. Rican Mike. They all, they, they all listen, listen. Then they were like, "You have an FBI uh, uh, thing, uh, folder? Why?" I said, "I don't know. Ask him. I don't know what the fuck is in that folder." He yeah. Like, Yo, but every single time I go, hold on. There, listen, I, listen. I, I'm listening. Every single time I go in there. Someone, uh, it'll be like a, a, border, that, a border cop. A border cop will be like, "Oh my God, Sky and Lloyd Isaac, Danny Diablo, they always get in." Do they? What? Really? what? I've never Damn. been denied. I've been, I've been, I, me and Mike Muir got stuck there for twenty four hours once. They're like, Wait, well, we'll what were you doing with Mike Muir? We played walk tour out there. And you, I, you did a tour with us too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So like, that's my favorite too. Like they fuck with Mike Muir also. So like, this is like, you know, this is part of life. Oh, I love my beer. Canada has the best, the best strip clubs in the yeah. world. Hey. That's what they say on like The Simpsons. Like it's, it's. Very, <laughs> it's, very, it's <laughs> if it's on The Simpsons, you know it's fucking fact. Yeah, it's, it's got to be fact. Family Guy does a whole like yeah, song about Canadian strip clubs. Molten Ice is off the hook, son. Was it? Molten Ice in Canada is off the hook. Was it? Yeah, off the hook. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Which one was Pamela and the the spokesperson for him when she first came out? I mean, Labatt. Labatt. Yeah. You are yeah. creepy. Well, I'm just asking. How do you know that? Because I have a, a memory. He's a fan. Yeah, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a fan of Pam Landers. Can I be a fan? And Labatt. <laughs> and Labatt. Dude, Jared. I'm a little bit jealous because my drummer, Trauma, he can't yeah. get over, dude. But no, we're trying to we're trying to hire a lawyer and get his ass. Does he have a DUI? He hasn't had a crime since he was a teenager. You know, no, they, oh they, God, they, listen, crazy. listen, my boy, one of my brothers got in from Vietnam and he has a manslaughter charge and my other guy could get him because he had a DUI. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. It's how fucking, it's, but it depends Jared, how Jared, all you got to do with some of that is you got to write a letter to them. It's a whole fucking That's thing. A, no, listen, you, you right. Gotta, you gotta get yeah. the real uh, Stormy Shepherd knows that the people at the border. Yeah. But even someone has a bad day. Yeah. They, 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 they think it's they can deny you. Dicks, yeah. No matter what. They hate Americans. Oh, like, oh sorry. They, 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 really over, hate Americans. Oh. they don't hate Americans. Yo, they hate USA! Listen. USA! USA! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, last time I was there, we, it was. Oh, one. so we got the Danny Diablo here and here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not feeling with you. All right, let's, let's get out of here. Last time I was there. Jared, I'm sorry. With Crown of Thorns and Rancid. Yeah, and, and, and uh, 
transplants. And Charles Barkley had his own thing. Yeah. And I was one of the cross, and they were asking me if those were my kids. Yeah, Travis's kids. Well, I know. <laughs> my kids. You know what I mean? Travis was laughing, but they, they, they held us there for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what, they, that's the joys of uh, loving Canada, music. I love right? Canada. Shout out to Canada. Yeah. James Wright. Yeah, yeah. Hey, James Wright, your boy is a good friend of mine, too. He's from Canada. Oh, Shout really? out to James Wright. Oh, dude, I love James Wright, dude. He's amazing. Yeah, and he's the one who's going to help trauma get into Canada because nice. we're being, amazing. you know, we're he's trying to put smart, it together a tour with uh, swollen members, you know, yep, yep. and um, and do that. So yeah, man, wish us luck on that shit. How does Bad Child get into the United States? He lives here now. Yeah, but how did how did he do that? Uh, he ran. Yeah. <laughs> he ran across the border. <laughs> he, he, did, he did. He defected. I defect. <laughs> And they let him back in, yeah. <laughs> hey, oh. uh, we before you came on, we, we like to talk current topics. I don't know if you saw this or not, but Kiss just sold the rights to their name, their likeness, and all their music for $300 million. So basically, Who did? Uh, oh. Kiss just did t- today or yesterday, 300 yesterday. million bucks. So they don't own any of their catalog anymore, but this company can now do avatars for them and do concerts without them in, in there. What do you think that oh, is? Go ahead, well, I'm saying, what do you think for musicians between AI and, and these kind of deals now? How do you feel as a musician? Is this good for us or is this bad for us? I'd, I'd love to hear. Well, you, you know, it's it's the answer is different according to what level you are on as an artist. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. for head PE, that doesn't mean anything. Right. Um, well, for AI, instance, like, you know, in your future, you can sell your fucking whole catalog, right. you know, for 70 million. And why wouldn't you? Right, you know, but no yeah. one's gonna offer me enough money to sell my shit. You know what but I Jared, mean? How would you feel if if AI came out with a rap that's that's not you, but it's but it, it was on something? You know what I mean? Like your AI voice was on something else for someone else's track. Okay, well, here's the thing. I haven't. How would? Okay, the question is, how would I feel if I heard a track? that was AI generated that had my voice and also ha- sounded like something I would write. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I've been like a uh, fucking with it. And what I've noticed is it's much better at music than it is at vocals so far. Like yeah. the vocals I hear sound a little bit corny and not quite right. Ru- like, it sounds like it was written by someone who's, English is their second language most yeah, of the yeah. time, right? But let's just say there's a reality where that can happen, where someone just goes, write me a song like Jared, and it really yeah. sounds like me. Wow. Wow. Because, dude, I've been making most of my money for the last two months, people paying me to, like, do bars and do yeah, verses. Yeah, and right. That right. would, it, that it, might, it, that it, would it. fuck me up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it so, would have to be a super fan behind that AI, right. like, like this is his cadence and this but is if, what he would say. But like, for selling it for three hundred million, your whole entire catalog—they're already caked up and they're like eighty years old. Oh, that's I, I know, but what I'm saying, saying is the ramification of wealth. You know, like if yeah. someone's offering you something that could, like, you know, pay your family for generations, then you right. take it. Right, right, right. You have to. I don't know, man. It just it's a it's a slippery slope. I agree with that. Though. I, my my music ain't worth anything for that regard. You know what I mean? But I'm saying. I, <laughs> but what I'm saying though is like the heart and soul is being taken out of musicians with AI and and avatars and selling rights to your catalog to you know these companies that don't give a fuck about music. It's just business. And I get music is a business, but also music is the the heart and soul of creativity, and that. That hurts me a little bit. It does come up to each individual's artist's decision of whether yeah. they want to sell, right? So yeah. if, like, Gene Simmons wants to sell because, look, you know, he's probably got another 10 years in his life or 15 anyway. So he's yeah. probably going, oh, I'm not going to make two, $300 million in the next 15 years. I might as well cash out, yep. you know? And money, and if he dies, like it's gonna go out lawyers and. But he can't be hurting for cash anyways to make that deal anyway. Right, then it's like cash for his offspring and stuff. Yeah, I I, like you said, generational wealth. I I get that, but that kid's catalog is gonna make money for years to come, even after he's gone. You know. So I think they might, it must have made sense to him because he's a smart fella. He's he's he (laughs) he definitely is. He definitely is. Yeah. Well, Jared, is there anything yeah, else you want? Uh, 
Oh, sorry. I'm not afraid yet because what I'm hearing so far can't do what I'm doing. But it's going to come a point where it's going to be able to do that. Nobody they, can do it. You know what I've noticed about AI, they're very good at doing more generic shit, like more generic rock vocals or metal vocals or generic hardcore vocals. Same thing with music. They're good at doing a sh- right down the middle reggae, down the middle punk, down the middle yeah. metal. But not very good at like doing like um, new metal or like I asked it to write a, a Nirvana track and it couldn't. It, everything just sounded like reggae regular metal yeah, you know yeah, um, yeah. so but there, it's not up to that speed yet but like you're saying there will come a day there will you know? come a day that's, that's yeah. what i'm worried about man I, like, I can't lie there is some cool ass shit out there like i've seen like uh it was a rage against the machine song but it was hank williams singing it like, <laughs> <laughs> some super off the wall shit and i'm like wow this is actually fuck you i won't do what you told me yeah. Yeah, is there, like <laughs> there i ruined it or whatever that yeah, thing. Where it is. shows the it shows like the uh it's like Elvis doing a Tupac yeah. song. Like it's just it's wild. Like I'll it has its spot. Books. Someone yeah. just said, uh, shout out to uh, was this McCollage M- Warrell? He said, music isn't necessarily an intellectual product. It's art and it tends to interpret life in an illogical way. AI is logic based intelligence, but eventually AI is going to not be logic. It's going to be grow I'm, beyond that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to disagree a little bit with my guy here. Be- AI is logic based intelligence. Look, it's being programmed by humans with their illogical ways. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah. pro I don't know if a soul really exists. Cause I'm more of a science guy. Like when they prove to me in a, in a double blind scenario in a lab at USC, that there's a, actually a soul, then yeah. I'll fuck believe it until then to me, the jury is out. But like what we attribute, like, wow, that music has soul. And look at that art. Look at the soul in that art. Well, when I'm generating AI art and music, like, dude, I, I asked it to make me a 70s soul song today. And yeah, it had fucking soul, dude. Yeah. You know, it's programmed by humans with soul. Right. So like I'm saying, like, it's programs with humans and their artful, illogical ways, and it's emulating that. Yeah, yeah. No, so listen, no emu- emulate you. All right, so don't worry about that. There's only one Jared in my heart. <laughs> yeah, there's only one Jared in the no, world for me. I'm out. I'm out. Jared, I love you, brother. Oh, like Danny, you, right? good to see you, bro. Love you, man. I love you, brother. Right? Yeah. Danny's got to go. He's meeting right. up with Crowbar. Crowbar is playing tonight here in town, and he's he's supposed to meet up with them. So yeah, they're man, they're here oh, more often. Man, I love those guys. We played with yeah. them overseas in like Poland or something. They fucking killed it. Yeah, Crowbar is amazing. I did. All right, our yeah, wallets are safe. Are. Yeah, our wallets are safe. We can throw our wallets back out. Danny's gone. <laughs> All right. Did I hear that? So, Jared, <laughs> I I know we talked about detox. Is there anything else that's coming up for uh, Head PE that you want to talk about or? Um, what what's what's I know you just guys just released this. What's going on with Sub, Sub Noise and Kevin Zinger and everything that you guys got going on there? Yeah, dude, just great to be hooked up with the management and getting you know, like I said, it was hard. We hit the reset button and stayed off the road for five months, but going out with non point and uh, you know, I just if anybody wants to hook up VIP, that's at head PE merch at Gmail. Um, or whatever you need, hit me up at head PE merch at Gmail for the VIP or whatever you need. That's, that's how to get in contact with me or the rest of the crew. But, you know, we're just going out there and, uh, still trying to ride the wave of detox. I don't know if you heard it debuted at number one, but (laughs) that's what we're doing. man. And I'm just so stoked. I got to show that again. Head PE right here. Bam. Number one on the charts. Just leave that up. Yeah. I'm going to just show that. Boom. I, I was super happy. I actually, um, I I helped uh, promote one of the records. I worked for Sub Noise for a couple of years with Kevin, and uh, I I helped uh, the, the record. Be- what was the record before? Oh, this? dude, I now, now I'm t- you know my memory sucks, but you just brought up all these memories of the DRP and me working yep. with you, dude. Yep, yep, oh, yep. dude, sorry, my no, mind, dude. Yeah, <laughs> my brain, yeah, my brain shot too, man. It's all it's good. Getting better, it's getting worse. Yeah. <laughs> Under his but, sink. <laughs> All right, see you, Danny. <laughs> Bye, Danny. Danny's causing the distraction on the side. I need a bag. J- Jared, is there, is there anything else um, you wanted to talk about? Um, I, I Like I said, we, we touched on detox. We touched on uh, the the number one record. 
We, we, we talked about uh, the, the video. The, chapter 6, Rebellion, that's not the newest video, though. You just dropped another one, right? Chapter 6, Rebellion is the newest video. I, yeah. I've been showing this one video of the first song, No Way Out, that my guy made using AI because I think it looks really oh, slick. AI but that you. has nothing to do with uh, the story that we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, Jared's all about AI. Guys, guys thanks for that. having me on, man. This is so fun, and I really appreciate it, man. Um, you did a lot of people logged in. For you yeah. and everything you do, brother. Jared, uh, like I said, I'm a fan first uh, of you and everything you've done. Like, watching on stage for, you know, this whole time. It's It's been great to watch you and the progression of HEPI. And, and you, you've gone through so many, you know, Line us and it still stays consistent of what you're doing, and that's that's amazing. He that has really your po he has your poster above his bed. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I got well, your team man. beat parade hit parader <laughs> magazine. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? What you're talking about is like you know you have the original uh, members and how we the sound came together, and then when yeah. it fell apart and um, we could no longer get along, and then yeah. I had to kind of move on and bring new guys in. I yeah. just, you know, I'm not just a singer, right? Like, I know how the vibe works yeah. on the guitar and the bass on the drums. So anytime I get a new guy in, I'm trying to be like, or I'm not trying. I'm like, this is this is the guitar riff. This is the bass riff. This is, I know what the vibe is. So that's how it re remains consistent. Sometimes it's not that easy when you get a guy who's not head PE, right? But I yeah, still yeah. kind of rein them in to this spot where the vibe stays consistent. The lineup I have right now is the, the best one I've had in years, you know, where the, it's just very potent. You've had trauma for a while, and he's a, a great drummer. Watching him live is, is intense. Like, I, I love watching him live, too. And, yeah, uh, your bass player and guitar player. In years. Like, yeah. We, we actually opened for you last year in Milwaukee, and it, it was a great oh, show. Right. Like, yeah, it was it was a blast, man. A girl Baldi's, a girl Baldi's. Girl Baldi's. Yep, that's what it was. It was like it was like a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday, right? Yeah. It was, oh it was, wait, what's the name of the room? Club Garibaldi. Ah, uh, I don't. I, it rings us a bell, but you yeah, know, yeah. Milwaukee can be hit or miss for us. You yeah. know what I mean? Like some nights we'll go and it'll be great. Other nights, like eh, we always I always try to have you know a, a positive. You know, you, you've got a lot of fans in Milwaukee. Show. Whether it's 17 people or a couple hundred, I'm still trying to put it out there, you yeah. know. Yeah, I've never seen you. Uh, I've, I've seen you a bunch of times. I've never seen you, like, cash it in once. It's always been. <laughs> good, <laughs> good. You yeah, missed yeah. that one, yeah. When, when, those, bo when those, boxers <laughs> you, those boxers hit you in the face? <laughs> yeah, or like Jerry's Pizza, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Jerry's Pizza. It was like eating, it was eating back the second Jerry's I bailed. Pizza. He wasn't even yeah. there. And then I, I sent my tech. I'm all. Go tell that guy to work on this feedback. He goes back there. He said he found like a drunk guy passed out on the floor of the sound booth, and the sound guy had left. Anyway, Jerry's Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's Pizza. I'm using that clip for our promo tomorrow. It's going to be a pr promotion. Head PE at Jerry's Pizza. Go ahead, dude. <laughs> There's some Jerry's Pizza out there right now. Yeah. Pissed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> Like, and I know they were like, the owner was like, why is he mad? Why doesn't he like it here? Because we were on stage and I was like, well, this is our last show here. You know, <laughs> she was Wait, like, order why? Up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jared, uh, that's pretty much it. I, I really appreciate you. Oh, right, uh, bro. Like I said, we've had a lot of people uh, come in tonight and, and, you know, leave comments and stuff. Like a lot of people are excited for this podcast. So thank you for you know taking some time away or taking some time to talk to us. I, I really do appreciate Dude. that, brother. Hell yeah, My pleasure, you. fellas. Anytime. Let's keep in touch. Yeah, definitely, yeah, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Good luck on the yeah, tours, man. Yeah, good luck on the tours, tour, man. Tell, tell Zinger and you need a raise because you guys are a workhorse. Yeah, over tell there Kevin Zinger you need a raise. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you guys. Thank right. you. I'll see you guys Give it up out there. Jared from Jared, 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 Jared. Yo, yo, there All it right, is. Jared from FP. That was a great. That was a great fucking. He he. He's professional. Oh, he's, sorry to Jerry's Pizza, though. Yeah, Jerry's Pizza. <laughs> Jerry's Pizza. We, <laughs> Jerry's. The only loser was Jerry's Pizza. I mean, the food's good, but uh, it's not the greatest sound. <laughs> the drunk guy passed out in the back. That'll happen. That'll happen on the big ones. Now, yeah. again, we we just had Jared from Head PE uh, on on the on the podcast. Love the podcast. Thank you guys very much 
for tuning in. Let's before we go though, let's let's hit that we, like, hit that subscribe, hit that follow. Yes, please like and that. subscribe. Uh, go to the YouTube Force like, Five Records, Danny Diablo. Do it all. We we've got a ton of people tuned in. We're gonna we're gonna get out of here in a couple of minutes, but real quick, we had to rush through this, Jay. Yeah. Talk to us again one more time about the CD uh, party for this. All right, so we're releasing the Swap Murder CD. All yeah. right, that's enough. Next. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, right me. Right here. Yep. Hold on. The there. there it is. Check it out. Yeah, that's it in our hands right now. So yeah. we're uh, having a show next Saturday. Next Saturday. Time out in Cudahy. So local guys, come on out and have a good time. Um, we got some shirts for sale too. Cut oh, hay. Show the. Oh, Cut show, hay. show show the. Hay. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let me uh, show that. Boom. Got that one right there. there it is. Sick. Here's yep. the old school one, the logo only. Of course, you got to have it. Nice, Sick. nice, 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 nice. Yeah, so. yeah we're going to shoot a video tomorrow. Yeah, we uh, are we shooting got, a video uh, tomorrow. We're, yep. we're going to bust out this show next Saturday, kind of get the rust off and get that live feel going because we, uh, we're playing for uh, – with green jello yes the following week actually i'm going to show that right now yeah, yeah. 420, yeah. 420 in iron mountain Mount. michigan yeah. green uh jello it's a festival it's like 20 acts and then swap murder is gonna be playing right here too right there, there bam yep right after that famous green jello band. yes so check us out if you're in iron mountain michigan you guys are batting cleanup yeah, yeah that's we, right yeah. that's right Number so four. we don't have a web store up right now, but you can get any of this merch you want from us. Just uh, message the Facebook page. Shout out to Joe Andre. Shout out Joe Andre. Joe now. Andre. No hey. shit. What up, bro? <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to buy some of this merch, just hit the Facebook page and send uh, hit us in the DMs, and uh, we'll take care of it from there. Slide yeah. in my DMs. Slide the DMs. DMs. I got uh, you know, Venmo, PayPal. We can meet behind the Piggly Wiggly and do a fast. <laughs> Whatever you like. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, food like stamps, that, you know? with card, you know. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Chuck so, E. Cheese tokens. Let us know we want to sell this fucking merch, right? Real quick, I got to give a shout out. Let me see if it's uh, the, this camera. Shout out to Troy right Troy, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah Troy in the Troy. house. Yep. So oh, there's, that, there's Steph in the background. Yeah, all right. Double <laughs> bow. <laughs> yeah. Someone's got a question here. Oh, someone's got a question. Will there be a Danny and DRP collab album? Oh, we were supposed to actually talk about this. There will be a Danny right, DRP collab <laughs> album. We're, we're, we got one track left, and then we're going to be releasing that. But well, we got to mix it yet, too. But Oh, yeah. Hold on. That's the wrong, that's the wrong I'll one. I'll pretend he's still here. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Relic. Wait, where's Relic? Oh. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> we're putting it out. No, 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 no. Hold up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> There will be a, a collab album, uh, Danny and DRP. We're just about done with it. Yes, Danny. Oh, that's the homie Maddie out there. Great uh, photographer out. In yes, he is a great Israel. photographer. Um, yeah. Boys, uh, they live. Is there anything you guys want to say before we get out of here, too? Hold on. I, I got the wrong camera. Hold on. Jay? Kiss. Yeah. Kiss. Um, it's a kiss cam. Kiss cam. YouTube. <laughs> Force 5 YouTube channel. We have Evil Ways. The newest video. We have Hollow. Go like, subscribe, go check the videos out. Obey is available. It's the newest EP by us, and uh, you're going to love it. Uh, Digital only, so go on iTunes. Digital yeah. only. Look at that beautiful new T-shirt that just dropped in the shop, too, behind Jay. Look at that right there. Oh. That's dope. You know you want it. You guys. Sick. Go right here. to Hold on. Go to force5records.com. <laughs> right there. Pick up this. Oh, uh, my uh, thing's being weird right now. There it is. Your penis. Pick it up right now, force5records.com. We're shipping. We got a bunch of orders already. We're shipping out this week, but order one right now, and you could be the next order. Hit that other cam. And that please cam. check out Trap and Ruckus from Ray De La Vega, myself, and Lazy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. Slapper. Slapper. Thank you guys very much. We, I can't believe how many people tune in this show. I really, really, really do appreciate it. We, we, all four of you. We, yeah. We love, <laughs> we love you. We love making music. We One love creating mind. art. And we love the fact that people come out and check us out, buy some merch, and support the Ruckus Movement. So thank you guys very much. Anything else before we go, guys? Thank you again for everyone that uh, pre ordered uh, Obey. By yes. It mean, went uh, number 42 on yeah, the Apple iTunes. Yeah, we, char we charted because of you guys. So thank you so much. Jay, is there Swap, anything you want to say? Swap Murders Live next Saturday, yeah. 4 13 at Time Out in Cudahy. Look it up. It's on the Facebook page. Like that shit, man. Like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. And Force five records. Shout out to Jared from Heck PE. Thank you, Jared. Hell Thank yeah. you, Jared. Yeah. That was a great interview. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Uh, don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. Steph, All right. Steph, come on. <laughs> out. Dump them out. U.A.